Good evening. Welcome to the Redneck City Boys podcast. If you had a chance and watched my last video on the Great American Outdoor Show, it was a good adventure. Um, the kid enjoyed it. There's funny games for him to play. But there was a lot of same old, same old that was there every year. Winchester was not there this year. But all the normal people, all the normal sites is there. If you've been there before, you didn't really miss anything. It was a little bit packed on the first day. I think they estimated somewhere right around a thousand people showed up. If you have the money, there's plenty of outfitters there where you can schedule a vacation up in Alaska. There's a lot of uh, fishing in Ontario. There was hunting out in Wisconsin. Plenty of fishing trips all over the United States, including Alaska, Canada, uh, Lake Ontario, a couple of Finger Lakes. There was also quite a few boat demonstrations there. Uh, G3 was there. Oh, Crestliner was there, a bunch of pretty decent boats, bass boats, pontoon boats. In the gun section, there was quite a few firearms that were on display. Mossberg was there, Colt was there, CZ was there. Well, CZ was there with Colt. Oh, Henry was there with a lot of their new firearms. There was quite a few classes that you can take, seminars, teaching how to cook wild game, uh, fishing demonstrations, telling you about where the bass were. I sat through a few of those. They're pretty, pretty interesting. Highlight of the evening did come Friday night when President Donald Trump did a speech for the NRA. I was unfortunately was not able to get there due to my schedule. And unfortunately, I haven't seen any videos or anything online about what all was said in that. This was definitely a family type of event. Take your kids, take your wife, take your girlfriend, spend a day of it. You'll enjoy it. Now time for my YouTuber of the week. This week, I am choosing Small Plots with Kevin. This is a guy in Rochester, New York, which is close to my hometown. Now, I do try to bring people that are close to the northeastern part of the United States, New York, Virginia, uh, Pennsylvania, Ohio. This week, Kevin partakes in the tradition of Groundhog's Day. He goes down to see the groundhog come out of his hole. And whether or not he sees a shadow. Well, of course, as we all know, this year, he did not see a shadow, which means we're going to have an early spring. Yes, the fucking rat did not see a shadow. One of the things that I enjoy about his videos is not only does he do stealth camping, but he also does urban adventures. Shows the different areas of Rochester, New York. Shows a little bit about the Erie Canal and the old subway system that was a good video i really did enjoy that one he also shows some local breweries that with it being close to me in pennsylvania i can easily get some of those beers that he shows from the local breweries up in rochester as i say here i'm actually enjoying some single barrel jack daniels now i'm not a jack daniels fan and i never really liked jack daniels but this stuff is nice and smooth and actually has a really good taste to it I highly recommend it. If you get a chance to watch his videos, there's also quite a few collaborations with last week's uh, YouTuber of the Week, which was Sam Bananas. They do a lot of collaboration together, a lot of camping together. So check them out. Check them both out, actually, if you get a chance. I highly recommend it those videos if you like that type of stuff. He has somewhere right around 10,000 subscribers with 114 videos. Unfortunately, I was having audio problems and I had to switch microphones. I'm sure you're going to be able to hear a difference in this. So let's move on. 
you. Still a little bit of audio issues. I'm going to be able to try to see if I can edit that stuff out later. Now, I do have another video that's going to be coming out probably at the end of this week. It's where the wife and kid and I went up to Governor Dick Park. On top of the mountain there at Governor Dick Park, there's a tower. It's a 166-foot tower that you can go inside and climb all the way to the top. And you're able to see five counties in Pennsylvania. Berks County, Lancaster County, uh, York County, and there's a couple more. If you like some history on that park, you can go to the Wandering Woodsman. It does a very good job with some of the history around here in PA. Typo Ranger has one also on that same tower. Check them two out. Those are two YouTubers I'm probably going to feature here on this podcast at some time. Now, some of my videos for my seven-year-old son's point of view videos that he wants to make he wants to be a youtuber so that's something i've been trying to encourage him to do um, and some of the videos is me by myself more of a serious type video i like to do a lot of camping fishing hiking stuff like that but the videos that my son is in a lot of them are him doing the filming with me doing some of the filming and him sitting next to me while we're doing the editing and him deciding exactly what he wants into the video. I'm sure when the boy gets older, he's probably going to end up starting his own YouTube channel and that will be all him. I got a couple extra cameras that he'll probably be using. So if you subscribe to me and subscribe to this podcast, go on YouTube and look forward to seeing him. I will most certainly will probably feature him in a video when he starts his own channel. It'll probably be a couple of years, but eventually it's probably going to end up happening. Now, if you have any questions or comments that you'd like for me to address, or any videos you'd like for me to watch and maybe feature on here, you can certainly send me a message. Redneck City Boys on YouTube. More than happy to answer them, more than happy to get back to you, more than happy to feature some of the people that you might want me to feature. Now, just so you guys know, I don't have all the equipment that I needed to do this podcast that I'm slowly investing in, that hopefully I can get this whole thing maybe a little bit longer. I kind of want it maybe about 20 minutes long. I don't want it too long because I don't want to bore people. But I don't really want it as short as what I'm getting it. I'm hoping that they'll get longer the more better I get at this. <clears throat> so let me just say thank you for listening or watching it on YouTube. You guys have a wonderful day.